there, it's me, Grammy Vulture. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and you can follow me on Snapchat. Hi there. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today's the day that I designed the Chinese Zodiac Piggy plushie. Let's do it. I've got a vision in my head. I'm gonna draw it out. Oh, welcome to my channel and thanks for coming. And please share this with a friend. All right, cardboard is fun, but construction paper is more practical as far as storing a pattern. As far as the legs, I want them to be about yay long. Cautionary measures, I'm gonna use the biggest piece of the form because I will be sewing them into the body. Big body, there we go. Draw half and cut it out. And I don't want it to have big tight corners. Okay, for the piggy face, we will need, I think I have piggy buttons for eyes. And a nose. The snouts aren't quite round. They're kind of bulbous. Okay, do I want ears? Piggy ears, piggy ears. I think I have enough pink to make piggy ears and a piggy tail. But I think I'm just going to wing that. So I'll just make the ears just by doing this. And then we'll sew them in. There we go. Perfect. Piggy ears. Be sewn along the edges of the top here. Maybe I'll gather them a bit first. Oh, that's cute. Good idea. Okay. And what else? You can do it. You can do it. Oh, the tail. A tail. Maybe a little wavy tail. Part here. How long do we want it? Just gonna try to follow this design and cut here and then taper it off. Okay, remember it's gonna be sewn inside the plushie. I like it. I like it. Check my button supplies. All right, let's try to find matchies. I actually found blue ones. They're not quite as big as this one, but I found two blue ones. I really, I think I'm just gonna stick with those. I like them. They'll be nice piggy eyes. And the great contrast to the red fabric. The nose. Do I want a black nose? No. A pink nose with black nostrils. On the fold that way. How's that? Well, that's a very cute nose. All right, and then we need some little nostrils. Let's see. Pattern pieces. Here we are. Here we are. all the way around both of these. Pigs don't have feet. They have hoofs. Some straight, flat, pointy, hoofed legs. I can make four out of this. This one piece of pink. Oh, we really love the cutest little pink toes. That's what I'm gonna do. In fact, it's gonna be really simple. This is just enough left over from the, the fluffy pushy. The puppy plushie that's going to be given away from my birthday. All four pieces, one length. Ta-da. There it is. Toes. Picky legs. They'll be sewn in from little toes. That was simple. <laughs> but sometimes Sometimes I just overthink the projects that I want to keep simple. Eyeball where I want the eyeballs. That looks like the ghost from Pac-Man. That looks like Snuffle Up again. Okay, maybe I need to put the nose somewhere in the region. Oh, well that's better. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So 
right about here. Trim it. Tie it. Okay, you don't have to watch this. I'm gonna skinny up these legs just a tad. That's better. Okay, and I'm gonna sew the nostrils on. I think they look better like this. Okay. Okay, I'm not really good at doing gathers, so I'm just going to pinch here and let's see, probably here. And sew them. I'm gonna sew forward and back just a bit. Okay, ta da! Little piggy ears. I'm gonna put the piggy ears in and these corners just to get around the head. So that's gonna be the front. And then on the back panel, I have a couple of legs. Actually, I think the piggy tail needs to be up here. So I will pin it. Sew the band to the back and sew the band to the front and then I'll be done. Well, other than stuffing and fluffing and turning it out, I'll be back. Here it is, the piggy. I wound up um, cutting a corner here and which made the whole thing short. And so I had to pull up slack here on the top where the tail is. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to rip it all out to fix it. Hopefully it'll still look good. I don't know. I'm winging it. This is, this is normal. Goodness. There's only a few pens in it, but they're in the right places. The pens should be out of it now. Look at that. What do you think? What are you thinking? <laughs> oh, oh, I, I don't think I'm gonna mind that it's pinched up a bit here. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and and stuff it full of fluff it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's cute. She, she's cute. He's cute. Oh, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna stuff it. I'll be back. He's, he's about nine inches tall. 10 inches wide. Oh, remember the first original foot design? Then I remembered that uh, pigs don't have feet, they have hooves. <laughs> what a creative day I've had. My piggy plushie is adorable. That red is just so shiny. He's got four little hooves and a piggy piggy tail. It kind of looks like a rat tail, but you know, we don't judge her. And his little piggy ears. Yeah, he's soft and snuggleable and huggable. And he's got big blue eyes. like it? I love it. If you say subscribe, subscribe. He says <laughs> I made a huge mess. But you know, that's that's what that's what life's about sometimes. You make a mess, you clean it up. 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 You make a you make a huggy mess, huggy mess. Oh um, thank you for watching this edition of the Chinese Zodiac Plushy Project. I love this one. Anyway, so this little piggy, this little piggy went to the market. Oh my goodness. Okay, um, goodness, this little plushy piggy needs a shelf to sit on or the back of the couch, you know that kind of thing. So I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. I didn't put a bunch of sewing in because you've seen me sew a hundred times. The design aspect of it, I did let you see that because 
I think that's important so that you know how easy it is to be creative. Um, okay, so there he is. She. There she is. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Chickity Doo, for hanging out and watching. Gotta go. See you later. Love you. Bye.